rowing can be a lazy and leisurely pursuit. Or it can be about fast and fierce competition. The racing shell is a rowing boat that's made for speed. Long and exceptionally narrow, it's designed to cut through wave drag and leave the competition in its wake. Racing shells are made for single rowers called scullers, for pairs or entire crews. They're custom made to precise specifications. Racers need to travel light to build up speed, so they make these boats from reinforced carbon fibre, which weighs a lot less than wood. They layer numerous carbon fibre sheets in a mould and trim them along the edge. They spray glue onto pieces of textured thermoplastic called honeycomb, then press it onto the carbon fibre. The honeycomb will serve as the core material for the boat. It will be sandwiched between layers of carbon fibre. It will give the racing shell some lightweight reinforcement. Next, they vacuum the air from between the layers. Then wrap the entire boat in a big breather cloth and plastic bag. The breather cloth is a permeable layer that prevents the plastic from getting stuck on the mould, creating air pockets. Next, it goes into a long oven which melts the glue impregnated in the carbon material, fusing the layers together. After 8 hours at 99 degrees Celsius, all is revealed. They pull the plastic bag and breather cloth away from the shell. Then they pry the boat out of the mould using plastic wedges. The boat comes out in one solid piece, and a primer paint sprayed into the mould earlier has adhered to the outside. They check the weight, which has to be precisely what the customer ordered. Next, they reinforce the boat's cockpit with several bulkheads, all of which are made from carbon fibre. They glue foam on the inside rim of the racing shell, using a piece of wood as a guide. They bead glue around the bulkheads. Then they lower the cockpit panel so that it adheres to the glued areas. The hard foam installed along the edges support the cockpit. Next, using a computerized tool, they drill holes for the hardware and riggers, and they trim the rim from stern to bow. They smooth the finish using a grinding tool. And now it's over to the paint section for some sanding and priming. They look for flaws and mark them for repair, because any imperfection could affect the speed of the boat or the mindset of the racer. Once the boat is perfectly smooth, they spray on a high-gloss urethane. Next, they install a fin for some stability. Using a laser, they align the fin with a guide to precisely position it. They insert a rudder and attach it to a system of ropes used to steer. The boat comes with special shoes along with a sliding seat that allows the racers to put some leg power into their rowing. Finally, they install the rigging equipment for the oars. With all the work put into these racing shells, rowers can't help but get ahead. Stroke! Stroke!